Hi guys, it's Face the Wenham here, and today I am here with some customizations for Windows. The you know, Fallout 5 and 9 on YouTube inspired me so much that I decided to make three new videos. And um, yeah, let's start right away. So I'm gonna leave behind Windows XP transformation to 7 and cool Windows 7 themes aside till the next video. You can watch that uh, on my channel. I think the link should be coming up now. I'm going to leave them behind and I'm going to concentrate on cool Windows customizations. As usual, you got to download the file in the description, extract it to your desktop, and this is all what you're going to get. So, there is this 3D barrel thing which is called, um, if, if you've uh, used or seen Linux, then you would know this, what this is. So, uh, it's a cube sort of a thing in which, you know, um, you can manage four desktops at a time. Now I'm just gonna show you, but the preview I won't be able to show because my computer is not that fast. Uh, I don't think it will be handle it, able to handle this uh, cube thing and recording at the same time. So I'll just tell you how to activate it. You can use it on your own. So just double click on the 3D barrel thing. It will show up this window first. So now just take Shift plus Control or whatever shortcut you want. Now what you do you do is to rotate the cube, you have to click on Control plus Shift plus arrow keys. I won't be able to show you, but um, yeah, I'll put some pictures there. Uh, just now they should be coming up the pictures. <coughs> uh, so yeah, <coughs> that's it. I cannot show you. Sorry, but you'll have to make do with it. It's it will be here the. Yeah, yacht M 3D whatever. I'm just gonna close it because you use it. Okay. So the next thing we're gonna see is Alpha Blender that enables you to make your windows transparent. Um, let me sh uh, show you because Alpha Blender is freeware and iWindow Shade and Glass 2K. So all three things do the same thing. They make windows transparent. Glass 2K uh, works on XP as well. I window shade. Um, I'm not sure about XP, but yeah, sure. Uh, but I window share is not free. It's shareware, so uh, it expires after 15 or better than Alpha, of course, because it's it's not free. So all you gotta do is install this Alpha Planner, and when you run it from the shortcut on your desktop right there windows alpha panel freeware double click on that and it will open up oh sorry it won't open up it will come here in the taskbar this heart shape open it up just right click and go to properties oh sorry and um transparency in transparency out i uh, now first you gotta uh, set up the alpha step make it file led the file doesn't matter and transparency in it's called control I just double click on it and I'm gonna hit for now control A so that it's control A and transparency out just for now don't make it control A or C so that it doesn't interfere with your copy or other this is for example control A select all so you can't use that because it's gonna interfere so to show you I'm just gonna open up this my computer so when you're done adjusting your alpha step, for now I'm just going to reduce that to here. Just close this window because if you don't close it, it won't work. So I have set that to control plus F12 because control plus A12. So you see it's gone transparent. If I hit one more time, it becomes even more transparent. By how much? So if you set it to 24, every time you uh, press control handy, when... Um, I'm not sure it's 24 steps each time. I think the maximum is 24. So if I drag it to 85, what's gonna happen is um, control plus F12, and it becomes really transparent, so you can see all through it that cool windows thing here. It, um, you know, transparency is the window open only. Uh, for example, if you close the window, you lose the transparency. Well, that can be useful if you mess up like me, like I did just now. Okay, so let's move forward. And Glass 2K works pretty much the same. Just open that up, and don't need to install this one. Just 
uh, this is just for the task for transparency for Windows 7 uh, XP users. You can see uh, transparent getting transparent. Okay, and, uh, for XP users who don't who can get transparency in taskbar. So I think I'm doing my transparency there, but I'll do it. Windows Shade is also the same as as I said. It's not freeware, so I don't recommend it. It's not good. I mean, it's good, but uh, you have to pay for it. That's why it's not good. Next thing we're gonna look at are the two best things. You got this Rainlander Light. It is a transparent task uh, sorry, calendar for Windows 7. As usual, you have to install it. I'm not. I'm not doing it because it's already done on my computers. This is another one of the software which are free, so it doesn't matter. We do it. Uh, so. There it is, Rain Letter 2. Just open that up, and there you go. Uh, you might be thinking it's really ugly. It is ugly, uh, no doubt about it. But yeah, we can make it more beautiful by first the stations, and double click on this static en. It's a skin for this calendar. Just double click on it, wait for some time, and there, the skin was installed successfully. So what now we're gonna do is restart this ring letter. Just exit that and open that up again. Okay. Now just right click there anywhere and go to options. Sorry about the mic. I know I don't know how to speak into it. So click on static en and choose OK. And now what you have is a beautiful transparent calendar in which uh, there's an analog clock as well. Um, I like that analog clock. It's about you if you don't like it. Don't throw it away. I, for example, I am going to throw away these um, to-do lists and all that. These look good, really good to me. So, now moving ahead to uh, save some time. I think it's getting really long. I have this RK launcher. This cool customization can give you the genie effect as you see in Mac uh, RK launcher. I missed that. For the desktop, just delete this Windows Edge, or if you're interested, you can visit the site. Uh, I haven't, but I don't put it sites like this. Now, luckily, Mac, and uh, for those who like Mac, this is the thing for you. So, yeah, open it. Just first, we have to set it, so right click and uh, where is it? settings. So, yeah, and now just let the themes be there and go to behavior tab and uh, take this option minimize to RK launcher. Okay, and okay. Now, for example, if I open up a pay, uh, folder, for example, Windows XP to 7, and uh, sorry, minimize that, what's gonna happen is this. As I said, my computer's not fast, so yeah, this. If you can get some snapshots of it, that ha this happens. Uh, Good animation, but my computer is not fast, so I cannot capture that as it is. And to now you, you can see it's really slow, so what you can do to speed it up is just copy this DLL file here, D3D9, and go to the computer, then to the installation directory wherever you installed it, uh, program files. RK launcher, RK launcher point four one B ten nine, and then go to plugins, and then to RK Genie Effect DX. Okay, and from here you have to copy this D three nine nine. Right click, copy, and right click, paste it here. Now that's gonna make it faster. Fast. So yeah, that's all. I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please comment, rate, and subscribe if you like it. And be sure to watch my other two videos, Windows XP to 7 and Cool Windows 7 themes as well. And thank